Come on, Edgar. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Ragdoll, but uh, it just kind of tickles my fancy. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental. We're on build 163, and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so in this episode, we got a turn in to do. we got another quest to do, and we've got some ammo that we need to uh, make up. So let's get the, the ammo done first. Where was that? There we go. Damaged wall. So I have smelted all of my lead into the forge here. So we're going to uh, get that going, and we're going to make up a bunch of bullets. Let's see, how much how much buckshot do I currently have? Let's look at that first. I don't have any buckshot. All right, let's make 150 buckshot. Well, how much can we make? Let's take a look. In total, we can make 1,000. All right, I'm going to make 300 buckshot because that will give me two two more stacks uh, I'll be able to make two more stacks and then we're gonna turn the rest into bullets and that'll give us over a thousand bullets yeah that's good okay so we're gonna just let that do its thing uh, it's gonna run for about 17 some odd minutes oh my goodness um, I didn't need that much wood <laughs> there that's good enough and then when that's done we have a buttload of gunpowder uh, so I've got uh, over 3,000 in here, plus we have another 1,000 in some in the weapons and ammo crate. So we have a total of 4,334 gunpowder. So we'll use that uh, to make up uh, the bullets and the buckshot for, uh, I'm sorry, for the shotgun shells for Horde Knight. Um, you know what? I've got this, oh, I forgot about this. I've got this sawed off mod. What do we have on here right now? The foregrip is better for shooting from the hip. So what this is going to do is this is going to give us more spread, but it will affect our range somewhat. Not that that's a huge deal because, you know, we're always using the shotgun or we should always be using the shotgun at close range anyways. So um, let's see something here. So if we improve handling action when firing weapons from the hip or while moving. See, I don't know that that's super important for a scatter gun. I think it's probably going to serve us better to put this guy on. Oh, we can't have that and the duck bill. Oh. Um, okay, so increases projectile spread. Let's look at something. Let's look at something. So if we... I need to kind of, kind of get into a dark spot so you guys can see the crosshairs or the stupid storage box things on there. But anyway, if you can see the crosshairs, you know, you can see that they're, you know, that are wider than they are taller. And that's because we have the duck bill on, right? So that's kind of the spread on that. Now let's see what the spread looks like if we take the duck bill off and we put the sawed off on. And it even has a sawed off look to it too, which is really cool. Hmm. Is that the same as the normal spread, though? Let's notice. You see how the top crosshair is above the G in the word storage? Okay, so just kind of remember where that's at. Let's modify this again and take that back off. Uh, we got a wandering horde. Shh. Don't make any noise. I don't want him tearing the shit up. <laughs> Okay, um, ah, it does. Okay, so so notice that the top crosshair is now right above the G, whereas when we had the sawed off on, uh, it was a little higher, had a big, a little bit more spread. Hmm, I don't know though. I don't know if I want to, if that's better than the duckbill for me anyway. I think I still prefer the duckbill to be honest with you. I think I do. Okay, so that being the case, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep the foregrip on here and we'll put the duckbill back on. All right, well, it was, worth, it was worth a try anyway. Worth a try anyway. If the spread for this would have been a little bit more than that, I probably would have opted for it, uh, but it wasn't, so. They're all caught up on the 
oil company out there. Yeah, I don't I don't want to shoot them because I don't want to rile up the whole horde because then they're going to start tearing shit up. All right, let's let them do their thing. So anyway, um, what are we doing? We're we're smelting lead. We've already got um all of the gunpowder uh, done. So we just have to wait for that lead to smelt, and then we can start making ammo like crazy in preparation for horde night. Um, I really wish that we could find a better pistol between now and then. And I'm probably going to take the silencer mod off the pistol during Horde Night 2 just so we get a little bit extra, you know, damage from it. Maybe even the rifle too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we also need to make pipe bombs. That's something we could actually do now. So let's grab... Um, let's make... We've got 13 pipe bombs. So let's make uh, another... They're, they, they're stacks of 20, right? Okay, let's make 40 more. We'll make 40 more pipe bombs. Grab some of that, and we need some of this. Can't type today, man. What the hell? Okay, so that should be good for Horde Night. Um, for, you know, that's two stacks right there, plus we still have this. Because I'm not going to use pipe bombs all of the time. Anyway, we're, we're also going to be doing some shooting, so... Okay, that takes care of that. Um... We just need to, like I said, wait for the lead. Okay, let's grab something to eat real quick. So we're just going to do some canned food here. We've got a whole bunch of of grain alcohol and uh, 12 blood bags. So once we get to the point where we can learn that recipe, um, you know, we'll be able to, to start making the, the large meta packs too. All right, I think we're ready to go. So we're going to go to Trader Jin for a turn-in. And then we're going to go do Trader Hugh's quest. My mini bike's down on that side, though, isn't it? All right, let's see. We might be able to kill them with our silencer without riling up everybody else. The other ones might have even moved on by now, too. I'm trying to get a headshot, but their heads are bouncing a lot, so... Did we even hit her? Yeah, I think we did. Oh, you know what I bet they'll do? I bet they'll come, if we run down here, they'll probably come up our horde ramp. Yep, sure enough. Look at that. Well, it looks like we're gonna, we're gonna do a pre-horde night horde here. <laughs> we'll have to repair that first hatch, but that's not a big deal at all. As long as they don't damage anything else. If you guys, if you guys have been playing Alpha 19, have you noticed that Big Mama seems tougher than she used to be? Uh, defensively tougher. It seems like it's harder to kill her now than it was before. I'm sure she's probably, she was always pretty tough offensively. She would hit you hard, but she was also relatively easy to kill in earlier alphas of the game. All right, I don't want them tearing shit up though. So why? Isn't that Zombo getting up on the ramp? There she goes. We are pretty far from the next level. I was just trying to see if we were close enough to maybe... Get Gunslinger up to three, but we have to get agility to three to do that. And we do have the agility glasses. So that means we'd have to spend the next two points then uh, to get this, right? Yeah, because we'd have to get fumbling and then with the glasses we could get three, but then we'd have to keep the glasses on for the whole Horde Knight, which would be fine because it would be giving us a a pistol upgrade. Oh, I know what else I was going to do, you guys. We can make the cigar now because we got that um uh we got that testosterone. Let's do that really quick too. So, we need the grass and we need one thing of paper. 
And we need the testosterone, which I think I put in here. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to give us a, a strength point, and assuming as long as they haven't changed it, it'll give us um, like a 10% um, for better bartering too. Cool. Okay. Oh, uh, let's let's very quickly go repair the damage that those morons made. Um. I'm just grabbing everything I think I might need uh, for that. And uh, let's get our shiny new purple hammer that we looted a, a couple episodes ago. I don't know. I can't remember where we found that. I think we found that at the oats. Yeah, so that would have been the last episode. And let's grab some iron too. Okay, so we'll do a quick fix up here. Still a couple stragglers. Come on, Bo. There you go. Okay, so any damage on the ramp here? Doesn't look like it. Just gotta fix the hatch. We still haven't found a crucible yet. It would probably take ten. Well, we'd have to we'd have to make the steel uh, hatch itself, which would probably take ten steel uh, or twelve steel, and then we would need even more steel after that to to upgrade it the next two levels. So we'll you know if we continue using this design, we will we'll eventually you know upgrade those to steel hatches because we're gonna need to. Um, as the hordes get worse and worse. I'm expecting probably on 21, we're, we're going to start seeing cops uh, and probably vultures too. Uh, so that's that's going to suck. <laughs> There's no two ways about it, man. It's going to suck. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what Trainer Jade Men, has. Drugs, booze. I've got it all. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay, we got a... Do, make sure it's here. Hunting rifle... Which is significantly better than our current one oh, by a lot. Holy shit. Hmm. However, if we took the iron boots, we'd have two mod slots and we'd be able to put the impact bracers on them. I don't care about spears, so I'm not going to worry about the Spear Hunter uh, magazine. So it's really a combination of this or this boy that's a hard decision really to be honest with you um you know what will probably serve us better right here and now is the hunting rifle with the significantly better damage uh you know we're eventually going to come across better boots so we can wait a little bit longer on the impact bracers so i think that's what we're going to take plus we get uh, 5000 xp at 1469 dukes okay um so let's go ahead and Take the mods off of here. Yeah, so this is the one on the left's the new one. The one on the right is our old one. So this has 11 more points of damage. Wow. Now, this does have more range and durability, but I think overall, uh, this is definitely, you know, the better weapon. So let's mod that. And then this we will repair and we'll sell right on back to her. Um, will we? Or should we take keep it for parts? That's 344 coin. Eh. I'm going to I'm going to hang on to that for for parts for now. Let's go ahead and put our stove in. I'll think about that. I might want to actually hang on to that for some parts. Okay, does she have a new inventory? She does not. I think this is still the same inventory that she's had. So she restocks on day 22, so it'll be after horde night. You should stock up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. <laughs> um, let's uh, take another job from her. So let's see. We've got uh, tier two fetches and clears. The clear is uh, pretty close. You know, I always admired a hard worker. 
Oh, I would kiss you, but, um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard her say that. That's funny. All right. Um, let's do our usual rounds of uh, candy and food. And then um, I, uh, the the next quest, guys, that we're going to do is the creamery again. And I'm, I think I'm just going to time lapse that one. So I will meet you over there and we'll just whip it out really quick. Oh, shit. We got repops. You guys are in my, uh, <clears throat> my food store here. Look at that. Got a bag. All right, cool. We're going to have Zico's up here too. No, nope, looks like we're good up here. Okay. Don't need any of the rest of that stuff. All right, let's put our our new uh, sniper rifle to work here. Yeah, Big Mama is definitely tougher than she used to be. Come on, Igor. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Ragdoll, but... Uh, it just kind of tickles my fancy. All right. Um, is that it for everybody down here? Okay, hackers we want for salvage harvest. Uh, we want large salmon and pasta. Yeah. No, I don't think... We don't do enough melee for me to justify spending uh, cash on skull crushers right now, but maybe later we will when we have a lot of money. See the the downside to all these candies, those you know, they're if you have a bunch of them, they're taking up all the inventory slots. So, ooh, we got El Screamer over there. Okay, she's gonna need to be killed fast. Did she scream? I don't think so. I think we're good. That's just a, a sleeper that we woke up. Not worry about him. Okay. All right, guys. We're just going to run through this, uh, do a speed run through here, uh, time lapse, because we've already done it once. Um, and, yeah, let's knock it out. sucks um all right well the first thing we need to do is take one of these that uh, son of a bitch knocked me off the ladder then I kind of got uh, I tried to switch to my second AK but it was stuck in reload mode and it didn't want to come back out so anyway <laughs> it didn't work out so well uh, all right let's since the base is just right across the street let's go back and grab a vitamin really quick to fix this shit Oh, 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 I forgot. I can't leave the premises. Damn it. Ugh. We just about blew that one, didn't we? 
All right, well, we're going to have to uh, try and be a little more careful then, I guess. Like that's going to happen. Look at that, awesome. All right, that completely takes care of our, our critical. Now, we are infected, but hopefully we can finish this before we hit 5%. Or maybe we'll find an antibiotic or some honey. We'll see. I need to cut that damn tree down too. Okay, we had a buzzard in here last time. I think he hit us through the window. I can't remember for sure. All I remember is the last time we did this, we were inside that room. We made some noise and hit and it attacked us. All right, guys, at this point, I'm just going to nerd pull up here because I can't see a damn thing with this uh, tree here. I need to try and remember. Uh, uh, well, I guess we could cross right here. I need to try and remember to cut that tree down, though, because it really does mess up trying to do this quest here. Here they come. So that other guy fell down. We gotta kill him though because uh, this is a clear quest. Where did he go though? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I don't think he's still there. All right, well let's grab the the fat loots and then we'll um uh, we, we still need to get the satchel too. Um, so we gotta do that. Let's um take our oh we don't have any eye candy with us. Okay, well we're just gonna have to loot normal then. All right, that sucks, for the most part, pretty much, yep. Um, let's see, what can we get rid of? We don't need one piece of paper. And one pipe is not really going to help us out a whole lot. I want to keep the jars just because we have so many of them. 
But what we can do is drink that, and that'll free up a spot. And that'll give us this. Okay, another hunting rifle. Uh, range damage of 76 versus ours at... Uh, where am I at? Oh, right here. That's also 76. No, it's, well, it's 76 normal. So I keep forgetting that it doesn't take the mods uh, into account for the comparison anymore, which is actually a good thing. I just got to get used to it. All right, so ours, this, oh, wow. Okay, so this orange one has the same amount of damage. And it's got 10 more range on it, too. It has an effective range of 74. So this is actually the better gun. All right, well, then that's what it is. Uh, these we can scrap, and we need to make room for this stuff. I don't want to give up that, so let's just get rid of the uh, scrap iron. Oh, shit. Um, I want to keep the cornmeal because we can make corn dogs and fish tacos with that. Oh, shit. What are we going to give up? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Jars are so damn easy to make. <laughs> I'm throwing them out. I would have kept it if I could have, but... Oh, look at that. Steel pick. Okay, I don't care about the plastic. Is this guy coming up here? I cannot see him. We have got to cut that tree down <laughs> the next time we do this POI. Uh, all right. That's a nice fight. And that's definitely, almost certainly going to be better than our iron pick, uh, even though our iron pick has got more slots. So block damage is what we care about. Yeah, see, this does 18 more block damage than this, and with and this has mods on it. Um, okay, so we need to make room for another thing. Uh, robotics parts are 33. Uh, three leather is not a huge deal. Uh, splint. Let's scrap the splint. We'll take that. I don't care about the plastic. We still need to leave one more slot for our uh, satchel. So let's just get rid of the moldy sandwich, I guess. Okay. I don't know if that Zikaruski's on this floor or somewhere else. So let's... Let's go get our satchel first. Let's get that taken care of. That's still another floor down. Oh, is he right... Behind this door? Dude, where are you at? I think he's above us. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we got all the Zekers killed. Now we got the attention of a screamer, which isn't good. All right, so the satchel's on this floor here. There we go. All right, quest is done. We need to get back home and get a honey going before this infection turns to 5%. I kind of like to get away from that screamer, too. So let's take the long way around. Let's turn our light off here. That wasn't like an actual scream scream, was it? Okay, I don't hear any footsteps. Um, 3.9%. Okay, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I'm going to forget, we got to cut this tree down that's been causing us so much grief up there. I think, is, is it this tree? Actually, it could be... It's probably this tree here, because it's closer to the building than the other ones are. Plus, we can use the wood anyway. Okay, that clears the building. Now, if we do that quest again, we won't have the tree obstructions. Alright, let's grab a honey here. 
Caught our infection at 4.6%, so we're good to go there. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Um, what are we going to do in the next episode? It is day 21, so it's Horde Day, but we should be able to get uh, at probably at least one more episode in before the actual Horde Night episode. Um, and I think the plan is going to be that we're just going to keep working on um, on these quests. And uh, we'll have lots of ammo uh, for Horde Night, so that'll be good. I sure, sure wish we could do something about making our pistol just a little bit stronger, but it is what it is. I mean, as soon as they break through the first hatch, we're going to be shot, shotgun pretty much all the way anyhow, so um, we should be fine. We should be fine. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It takes no effort on your part. It costs you nothing, and it will help the channel grow. Really appreciate that if you guys could do that. Uh, if you didn't enjoy this episode, consider leaving a constructive comment, and I will consider your remarks. Thanks, guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.